I'm 39 years old and I avoid people now. Now this channel, it's called Labor Gains. It's about how to survive and thrive in corporate America. And one of the ways that you do that is by protecting your mental health, protecting your sanity at any cost. And I'm not saying that I don't go to town hall meetings or go to checkups or stand up meetings, but just avoiding people as much as possible because there's a lot of toxic people at work and they're going to want to tell you about their weekends and uh, their mother-in-law that drove them crazy and how their kids get on their nerves. They're going to want to talk to you about all the little gossip and the chisme and all the tea about what's happening in this department. Did you hear about this person or that person? There's just going to be a lot of things and a lot of data that you don't need to input into your mind. And it's just best to avoid like toxic people. And also if there's people at work who are always like complaining and blaming other people, I mean, that's not going to help you because that's gonna put you in a worse state of mind because you're at your job to perform the work that you've been assigned and you just need to focus on your work as much as possible. Now, if your manager asks you to do something, you gotta do it. If a superior asks you to do something, like a vice president or C-level, you gotta do it. But there's different, there's different peers that have no say over what you're doing in your career and you could just give them the, oh, okay, wow, hmm, interesting. That kind of stuff, because you're not gonna wanna put in too many negative thoughts. You might already be stressed out enough with your own work and your own responsibilities that you don't need other people's drama and baggage as well. I got to a point in my career where I wasn't too worried about getting promoted from within. I always was striving to become a senior level something. Just in my mind, it's like, if I can get one promotion in these dang 12 years, that would fulfill me as far as my career. It's like, all right, well, I've made the money, I've got the degrees and the certifications. The one thing I've never been able to do is to convince a boss to give me a promotion. And it didn't even have to really be for more money. It just had to be a higher job title. Like I would have felt really good about that to finally say, oh, I accomplished that thing. But as my career went on and it was harder and harder to do that, I just kind of gave up. So you could do extra networking things and some people are really into it. They drink the Kool-Aid, they love the organization that they work for. I've never been in that situation. So between not caring if I'm at a place for 30, 40 years because number one, I think that if you're at a place long enough, you're eventually going to get laid off. And number two, I know that I can just get more money by going to a different organization. I don't have to get promoted from within. So staying late to brown nose, to kiss up, to, to rub elbows with the right people, going to happy hours, putting yourself in a dangerous situation where people could be drinking alcohol and it could just lead to all kinds of HR nightmares. It could cost you your job, your career. You could say something off the record that gets you in trouble. There's more harm than potential good, I believe, when it comes to just staying late at work or going out drinking or going out to other things that you don't have to do for your job. And I think there could be a lot of consequences in a negative way. And I don't think that most people are are going to really get promotions that way. I think a lot of people are gonna be let on. Maybe they feel good because they have some insider information. They might know things before the general population of the workforce or the organization does. But in general, I just don't think that is something that's for me. So I avoid people who I have to just interact with to try to network and try to brown nose to try to get an internal promotion. And then outside of work, honestly, I'm 39 years old and I'm avoiding more and more people. I mean, I have my core friends, I have my family, but other than that, like I'm not trying to impress anybody. 
I'm not trying to get more friends. I'm not trying to get other people's approval. I mean, if I was a complete a-hole, you guys wouldn't be watching this channel. You wouldn't be subscribed to Labor Gains. I mean, I tried to help you guys out as much as possible. But, you know, other than that, like, I'm not trying to meet a whole lot of new people. And I know that you need to network to be able to get a brand new job in 2024 and maybe beyond. And yeah, there's going to be some networking events that I'm going to have to go to at times. And there's going to be some kind of events, but you know, that's just to get your foot in the door. From there, I'm not trying to do too much other stuff. And a lot of times, you know, you try to impress people, you try to get the validation and you become someone you dislike. Uh, a lot of times there might be some friends or some family members that you want to get to like you and it's very similar to like a work persona so in the in the world of YouTube there's like your normal voice which is this one right here but I could talk more proper and more professional and be more polite and whatever and that's just not me and I'm getting too old to do that and if someone doesn't like you for who you are it's their loss if someone doesn't accept you for who you are and what you stand for, that's your loss. I'm too old and I'm well past trying to impress people, trying to win people over. If you don't agree with the way I'm living my life, if you don't agree with the way that I approach things and you will only accept me if I just do things the way that you want them to be done, that's just not going to be a relationship that we have and, and that's okay. And a lot of people are also, we talked about the, the co-workers, the peers. There's a lot of like toxic people who are going to be in your acquaintance circle or in your family circle. And yeah, you might have to see them on holidays. But other than that, you just don't need them in your life. There's enough things going on in the world. There's enough things going on in your job or in your job search that you don't need, like I said, any other negativity input into your mind input into your spirit because a lot of people just give bad vibes and they're just difficult and very exhausting to be around because they're so high maintenance i'm at the point i'm not doing that either so whether it comes <laughs> whether it's at, in a job area or a family friends acquaintances i'm avoiding all people that don't uplift me that i can't have a positive relationship uh, with that i can't help people and they help me if it's not a positive environment, if it's not a positive relationship, if we're not uplifting each other, I'm avoiding you. I'm not spending my time and my energy on you anymore. Also at work, you might feel pressure to always go out with your coworkers to lunch, to happy hours, to spend your 15 minute breaks with them. I'm at the point where if you have a break, you just need to take a break, take a walk around the office, get some fresh air, have some solitude, listen to some music, do whatever you gotta do uh, to just take a mental break from things. And even at lunch, take your lunch by yourself if you can, <laughs> I don't know, eat outside if there's a picnic table or go to a nearby restaurant where not everybody goes where you're going to be like hey come on over to my table come on over to my table hang out just take your breaks take your time away from the office and be able to recharge even if it's just for a little bit clear your head because that's important right going 2025 going forward at work i need you to just avoid toxic people, avoid people who drain you, bring you down, and just do what you gotta do at work to do the best job that you possibly can, and avoid people that you don't need to spend time with, and I think you'll be doing much better. But let me know down in the comments below, are there people going forward into next year, kind of a New Year's resolution that you're going to spend less time on, that you're gonna spend less energy on? Do you agree with this mindset, or do you think you got to spend time with everyone. You got to do these things. And it's just kind of a way of life. It's just part of being in a society. Let me know down in the comments below. Talk to you later.